tell them when they started crawling across that. Uh, You're talking about the, the Suwannee River Padmo. How far would the Padmo go up the Suwannee? They've been known to go as far as White Springs, uh, knocking off a couple stacks. <laughs> but I mean, that's a record you're in high water. Yeah, the Suwannee gets pretty low. Sometimes. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, it, it uh, definitely fluctuates. But during a, a flood time, they got up to the White Springs one time. It, it was on record. Um, yeah, this song um, is about uh, the Tallahassee St. Mark's Railroad. It was the first railroad in Florida, and it was the first congressional land grant for a for any railroad in the United States, although at the time, it was 1835, that uh, they put in to build this railroad from Tallahassee to St. Mark's, and actually went on down to Port Leon, and then it got wiped out in a hurricane, and they stopped, you know, again, they stopped at St. Mark's. But, um, and, and, and of course, a, a congressional land grant, it, it was kind of, I, I don't know, I guess they want to get the cotton market and get Florida going again. Of course, Florida didn't become a state until 1845. But it started out as a tram, and they'd have mules pulling it. And then they would have a couple of um, uh, a colored gentlemen, uh, maybe slaves, pulling it over the rough spots, like, you know, high and low. And they would actually stand on it and pull it like you would pull a boat. And they would change mule teams every seven miles. And it was about a 14-mile run down there. And so this is the story of Tallahassee St. Mark's Railroad. She started as a rickety tram, pulled by two mules and a man. She ran up and down those tracks, Tallahassee St. Mark's and back. From the old fields of Tallahassee to St. Mark's on the Appalachian, she was the first. Close to the sound here. 